Talk to me a little bit about, uh, Tony Schiavone. He's going to come in for a one-off here. Uh, yeah, that's right. Tony Schiavone. If you're watching with us over on YouTube was actually on TNA for a whole one episode, but he had been the voice of the NWA and WCW forever going back to the Jim Crockett promotions days. And even all the way through the last nitro, and we haven't seen him for a while. Of course, we know he jumped into radio and started doing his life outside of wrestling. But I think he was friendly with Russo and just a ride over from Atlanta. He shows up, does one show, and never again. What did you think of his performance? What was your impression of him way back when? The first thing that came to my mind, and it popped up in the picture, I've never seen Tony Schiavone with facial hair, ever. Right. He looks so different, like really, really different. But, um, heck, you may have more insight on this than, than I do. Uh, but, um it was, I think he was always designed for a one and done. Um, he's was, wow. He still is, but you know, this time, the voice of WCW from late eighties till it closed the doors. So yeah. you, when you have Mike and Don already in that seat, where are you going to put a guy with the stature of, of Tony Schiavone? And you certainly are going to make him a mouthpiece or a manager of any of that, but correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't it? solely a Russo relationship that Vince tried to get him to do. Yes. And as from what I've understood, based on the way Tony tells it, is he rode to this one show just to sort of see what it was like because Russo had sort of been pestering about it and he decided, mm, I don't like it. It's not for me. I'm out. Yeah. 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 